Hey, Casuals and Hardcore, this is Ryu coming at you another review on a fine day of November, this time Pokemon Heart Gold. Now, to be fair, I'm going to start right off the bat. This game to me is a 7.5. Now, why did I give it such an imperfect score to Pokemon lovers? It's just that there's so much padding, if you will. I hate using that with Pokemon. You guys know that. I've said that before but in previous Pokemon reviews. But it doesn't feel like the game is trying to attack you all the time. It feels like it's just trying to hold you back. The engine feels slow, similar to uh, Pokemon Platinum for the DS, uh, a little faster, but it just feels slow, especially after 70 hours of grogging around doing the same thing over and over. That was kind of a pain in the ass. Now, to be fair, there's a lot to be had here. If you play the original Crystal, Silver, and Gold, you will really love this game. I highly recommend it. It's a first day buy. It's a retro buy as well. On the other hand, you're looking pretty expensive. You're looking anywhere from $60 to $400 uh, brand new if you're trying. No, not $60 brand new, but your range is $60 pre-owned to $500 brand new. This is skyrocket some premium wolf tickets on this game. You know, people know there's Pokemon lovers that really want this game, so they make it kind of hard, almost impossible to get them. You can bootleg this for probably $20. I can't tell you exactly where to get it, but do some research and you'll find your way. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, the game is great. Pokemon lovers will have something to do for hours and hours, and I mean hundreds of hours. It took me about almost 70 hours. I kind of messed around a bit, so it's probably more like around 65 hours it took. If you, um... If you're a casual, don't try to catch all the Pokemon. Just catch like 20 or 50 and try to beat the game. The game is hard. It's not the hardest Pokemon ever in my opinion, but it is really tough. Um, you're going to need some very high level Pokemon to uh, basically beat this game, if you will. As you can see, this is my final ro my final team, if you will. So there are many Pokemon you can choose. I don't recommend Grass. The Grass are trash in this game. Uh, Togekiss, I picked him just because I tried to do uh, the team and the, the concept art of the game. He's okay, but he's, a, he's an all-rounder. Just pretty much need him for some HMs and a little bit of a psychic and electric. Just depends what you want to use him for. Ampharos is a damn Pokemon god. I recommend it from any beginner. You will have no regrets. It makes your life that much easier. But I would recommend the level 80, if you will. And the, the bottom, Pokemon on the bottom, I used him to fight Hondoom, if I remember correctly, or Hondur, or whatever. That dog fire dark type. Because in this game, you cannot have a pure fire Pokemon. As you can see, we'll go to the summary right here. Fire. Let's, come on, go through the menus. Ah. See how it's all fire moves? You have to be more diverse. This is starting to be the point where Pokemon, you can't have any more pure types. Use any of this moves against uh, one of the elite fours, and he'll just absorb the moves all day, making this rendering this Pokemon useless regardless of how powerful it is. So you can definitely tell they want you to have more of the team spirit, if you will. Now, misleading Dugong was a huge help in this game. This was my anti-dragon, anti-fire, anti-flying. Dugong, Red Gyarados, Ampharos, bam, your ultimate dragon killers in real casual fashion. Try your best to get these three. Not exactly telling you how to play. There's lots of Pokemon to be had and experiment with. I didn't have that kind of time. I just wanted to catch 120, beat the game, all the story segments, and be done, be done with that. Now, moving on to story segments. This is one reason why it can never be a perfect game. A very important DLC, somewhat trivial to some people, but not to me. Story is really important, hence an RPG, right? So there's a big secret that's revealed that's really part of the Pokemon story, and you would never know it even happened if you don't have that DLC. It's a tragedy when they don't when they leave out stuff like that. It really is, especially old games like this, which almost is impossible to get that kind of DLC again. So the only way really to get it would be to get a Game Shark that for the DS and put the particular codes in to basically emulate the the event. Now the problem with that though is the Game Shark is anywhere from fifty dollars if you're lucky to three hundred dollars. I'm serious, man. They choke the head out of Pokemon lovers, and it's kind of sad. You're better off just finding a patch, emulating it, or just um, watching it on YouTube. Like, <laughs> but um, that's. It just sucks. No one should have to experience that. These are video games. Nintendo should put a little more care into their future with games, which they seem to have a problem with in general in many cases. But um, minus that, it's not bad. Like I said, there's a lot to do. I don't want to spoil anything for those, but obviously most people will be playing this. Probably all play the original. Again, it is harder. Um, expect Keep your expectations high and low. One of the shittiest parts, though, some of the best Pokemon cannot be had until you beat the Elite Four twice and beat... The final final trainer that is terrible game mechanics in my opinion that is not rewarding you see what i'm saying you get two you get actually more than two very very rare and potentially powerful pokemon more than two it's like five so i don't want to spoil anything once again but jesus man how would you it, it just does everything it can to keep you from being kind of op if you will and to a point that's no fun 
And segueing into that, there's an algorithm in this game. When I say algorithm, meaning something's going on inside the coding, where no matter how powerful your Pokemon, there's a chance that a lower Pokemon, significantly lower, 40 levels lower, can still survive your attacks. The worst perpetrator of that was Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, um, version 1. They had a horrible example of that. That just makes the game, in my opinion, not very fun. You're trying to trap me in this world, and it's just not, it's not cool. It could be much better, and um, that this is really not needed. Um, Pokemon Shining Pearl is a good example of a very fluid, um, fast-paced, meaning that the menu screen, the UI as well, everything just sm runs smoothly. And it's definitely a better game for casuals, minus that National Dex issue. Uh, besides that, though, again, 7.5. This is not a bad game overall uh, for casuals. I do recommend that they dip and go, you know. For Pokemon lovers, you will find tons of stuff to do here, minus the DLC. Um, it's just, yeah, it's not that, it's it's pretty good. I know it sounds like I've said some bad things about, see, right there. Wild Patona's Flash Fire raised the power of its fire type's move. So you cannot kill this fire type, this weak-ass fire type at all, just because of its special ability. Therefore, there's no way you can beat the game single-handedly with even a level 100 powerful fire Pokemon. So that, that's, again, that's disheartening a little bit. I'm not trying to stay in this game forever. No offense to Pokemon lovers once again, but trying to move on. But anyway, this hopefully was a short enough review. Uh, there's a lot more to this. The last caveat, I mean, not caveat, but the last, I'll leave on a good note. And it is notes. The music is fantastic in this game. I highly recommend the soundtrack if you can chase it down. All the remakes, there's some good lullaby music. Surprisingly, some good bass beats, especially when you're doing battling. So that's, it's, well, I would say more funny bass beats, you know, like kind of the oddity music you don't hear very often. But uh, this is definitely some smooth jams that I would listen to after a rough day in karate, you know what I mean? And I want to travel the speed limit. <laughs> but I, <laughs> again, I highly recommend it. 7.5 out of 10. Uh, I did this for y'all, man. This is a lot of hours I put into this game. Anyway, I love you very much. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Be safe.